Welcome to the Creality CRScan Lizard User Guide video series. In this video, I will cover how to set up your workspace for scanning in the different modes. The CRScan Lizard can be used on a turntable, in handheld mode, and also with the Color Kit add-on which scans textures to your model using a phone or DSLR camera. We are very close to actually scanning an object, but setup is an important step because you want the best quality possible. So follow these setup steps and you should get great results. Check the timestamps in the video description to quickly jump to sections that interest you. And stick around to the end of the video where I show you a 3D printed tool created by a community member which will greatly help your handheld scans. We have also launched a community Discord server, so jump into there and chat amongst other users and share your work. If you're enjoying the content so far then consider buying me a coffee through my support page. Otherwise just subscribe to the channel and like the video to help my channel grow. As always, all links in the description, so have a look. Enough chat, let's get into it. We begin by finding an area with a bit of space that you can also access with PC or laptop. If you purchase the premium kit, then it should have come with a tripod and turntable as well. Turntable mode is suitable for 3D scanning smaller objects. The process is to normally do three or more scans to get all angles of the target object, and then use CR Studio software to align and process that data. You want to make sure that the area you choose is free of background objects that might interfere with the scanning process. Attach the scanner to the tripod and extend its height fully. Put the turntable base somewhere in your space and connect the USB cable to it. Then put the base plate on top. With the USB cable connected, the turntable should slowly turn around and therefore rotate any object you have on it, allowing the scanner to get all angles of the target object. Connect the main cable to the scanner. And position and adjust the scanner so that it is looking at the turntable. The distance to the center of the turntable should be about 300 to 400 millimeters. Start the CR Studio 2.0 software and select the table scan mode. When you click on the preview button in the software, you should see a window in the top right showing what the scanner camera is looking at. We will go into more details about the actual scanning process in the next video, but basically just make sure the scanner is seeing the target and you'll be ready to move on. You also don't need to have the turntable completely in view of the scanner as only half is really needed since as it rotates it's going to fill in its complete position. It's more important that your target is centered as best as you can. From this point you're ready to start scanning which will be covered in the next video. The color kit is an add-on by Creality used in conjunction with the scanner for capturing texture details. It is basically a small photography light box, but it also comes with a tripod and mounting bracket that allows you to mount both the CR Scan Lizard and either a phone or DSLR camera. It works by taking multiple photos of the object at the same time the scanner is collecting its point cloud data. And when you process it all in the CR Studio software, it is able to line up the captured images and create a texture that applies to the model. It's not a perfect solution and needs to be tested further to find its potential, but it should allow for quick textured models to be created. First, you will need to unfold the light box and button the sides together. Make sure the LED strip is positioned at the top. There is also a hole at the top which can be removed to allow photos from above. This would only be used when using the light box as a traditional photography light box and not needed when doing 3D scans. Connect the USB cable to power the LED lights. Place the turntable inside the light box, pretty much right in the center will do. Take the tripod and attach the mounting bracket that comes with the color kit. On one side of the mounting bracket, secure the 3D scanner. On the other side, you can secure either a phone using the provided phone mount or a DSLR camera. 
Also note here that I've used the white standard tripod that comes with the scanner instead of the black tripod that comes with the color kit. I found the white tripod to be a little unstable, so it is probably better to stick with the black tripod as it has a wider base and better support. Connect the scanner USB and power cables and make sure it is functioning correctly. Another note here, it is probably better to secure the scanner on the right side of the mounting bracket as that way the cable is easier to attach. If using a DSLR camera, then you can use one of the many camera cables that are provided with the color kit. Select the correct cable that fits your cable and then connect the audio jack side to the white USB module that comes with the color kit. This white module acts as the communication device between the scanner, software and camera, telling the camera when to take photos as the 3D scanner does its job. If you are using a phone, then you need to pair it to the scanner using Bluetooth. To do this, you still need to connect the white module via a USB port on the computer where the CR Studio software is running and this module has a Bluetooth adapter inside. With the white module connected to your computer, you can then use your phone, go into your settings, your Bluetooth settings, find the device, it should be called Lizard Scanner, and then connect or pair to it. Finally, open the CR Studio software and select table mode, and then just make sure the display is centered on the target object. You may need to also adjust your camera slightly so that it is focus centered on the target. From this point, you'll be ready for 3D scanning and texture capture, which we will cover in the next video. The final mode to cover setup for is the handheld mode. This mode is great for scanning larger objects or people where you need to move around the target object. You can also use the scanner in handheld mode in conjunction with the turntable to make scanning a little easier. To set up, just place your target object in your space. Connect the cable to the 3D scanner and make sure it is powered on. You can simply hold the scanner, but I found a neat little trick where you attach the white tripod and then you can use it as a hand grip. Start the CR Studio software and make sure it is set to hand scan mode. Click the scan button and a countdown of 10 seconds or whatever you set it to will begin. In this time, you can preview your target object and find your positioning. At the end of the countdown period, it will begin scanning and collecting data. The full scanning process will be covered in another video. As I said earlier, you can also use the turntable in conjunction with the handheld mode if the target object is not too large. This can really help get a good scan as you can get into all the angles while not having to move around the target yourself. As you can see, handheld mode is fairly easy to set up, so once you have everything connected and your target in position, you're pretty much ready to get into the scanning process. Thanks for sticking around to this point. As a bonus, I wanted to show you something from a community member that I found on the Creality Cloud website. Going by the name of Marvel 3D, he created this 3D printable hand grip for the CR Scan Lizard. It slips on easily and provides a comfortable grip for use in handheld mode, making things way easier when scanning your target object. Just note that it doesn't fit with the silicon cover that you may have received with your scanner, so you will need to remove that first. Great job Marvel 3D, link in the description for his printable file. That brings us to the end of this video. In the next videos we'll begin to explore the 3D scanning process which I know many of you have been waiting for. If you find value in this video series then please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the video. And of course, check the description of this video for all relevant links. Thanks for watching.